What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And today guys, I'm going to do my second air fryer newbie video just to help you guys out. All right guys. So, you finally got your air fryer. You got it home. I don't know if you used it yet, but let's say you made some fries. You made your fries. They came out good. You shook them halfway. They came out just the way you liked them. And you're ready to rock and roll the stomp with the big boys. And by the way, these are my favorite fries. If you haven't tried this out, definitely. It will change your life. See these? They're awesome. You can find those at Walmart, Super Walmart, every day, all day. And by the way, my air fryer that I just got, and just like some of you, is the 2017 5.3 quart Cook's Essentials air fryer that QVC sells. But hey, whatever air fryer you got, this video is for you as well. And congratulations. So for you guys today, I'm just going to go over a list of five or six things that I feel you're going to need as a newbie to better your air frying experience. Okay guys, in air fryer culture, we don't use vegetable oil anymore. We, I know we used to use all that stuff when we used to deep fry back in the day. Well, not, we never used to do it, right? But now you got, you're with the air fryer group now. We use olive oil. But we, we apply it a different way than you, might not, than you might be used to. With the air fryer, you're going to spray on your oil with pumps like this or like this. But actually, one of my favorites that is also sold on Amazon as well as your local supermarkets is this. I like the, the amount of um, you know oil that sprays out on this. It sprays evenly and I like it. So I, at this moment in time, I would recommend this, but you can use the other ones that, that you just saw. But this to me works the best but use whatever you want, but it has to be olive oil. Or you could use whatever oil that is above olive oil, but you certainly, we don't want to use vegetable oil or anything or just regular oil. Just FYI. Next up, I would suggest you get a meat thermometer. I, I particularly like this one. And like I said, to everything that I'm showing, the link will be in the description um, where you can get yours. I particularly like this one because it has a it turns on automatically and shuts off automatically some of them that you may experience um, you may have experience with they work you know they work on a battery just like this one but it has an on and off switch and if you forget to turn it off then you'll just leave it on until the battery until you use it again or until the battery runs out this one you don't have to worry it turns off by itself also this one has a light So that's pretty cool. And it also has a, a, um, a magnet on the back so you can hang it on your refrigerator or any type of surface that um, can take a magnet. Very lightweight um, and I like it. But you definitely need one of these to, you know, take the, um, to look at the temperature of your food when it's done to make sure it's done properly. So definitely. Next up, this is an eight inch rack. I uh, got this from my, one of my six core pressure cookers, but they do sell them. Some air fryers come with one, it's, uh, it's a lot don't, but you, Amazon sells them. I have the link in the description to that as well. But I like to use this as well. Sometimes I might be doing baked chicken or even fried chicken in it sometimes. Um, the reason why I use a rack is because sometimes, not all the time, is when you put your food right there, on, in the basket, in the inner basket, these holes sometimes uh, go on your food. Like you'll have those, these imprints on your food. Sometimes. I don't know why it happens sometimes and why it doesn't sometimes. I don't know. But sometimes I like to use a rack like this or parchment paper. Same difference. But parchment paper is even better because it's easy cleanup. When you're done, you just take it out and you're done. But I definitely recommend this. Again, chicken, vegetables, 
anything in there. Um, like for instance, you might be uh, doing fried chicken. Well, sometimes if, let's say you forgot to spray out the basket when you're turning it, because you know you have to turn it halfway, the chicken, sometimes it might get stuck and peel some of the skin off. That could happen. Doesn't happen all the time, but it could happen. But if you had this or a rack, you probably, you wouldn't have to worry about that. So definitely that's something I think you should have. Also, I recommend um, silicone tongs and some type of brush. You know, you might be brushing on barbecue sauce or any, you might be brushing on something on your chicken or, or I don't know, whatever. But this is just good to have. And um, I won't have the link in the description for these. I mean, you can just pick this up at wherever. But this is just another, these are good tools to have as well on hand. Next up, we, everyone has it, but you will need some foil. If you're looking to bake anything like a cake, well not anything, but like, you know, desserts like cake and brownies and stuff like that. Or even if you're gonna make these, you know, they, these are in your supermarket dime a dozen. I heard they're 88 cents now, I'm not sure, but um, there's de lots of varieties of these. But when you're making that or like any type of cake, you're gonna need some foil, however, I don't have it, but in my air fryer group, there are people that use the um, foil that already has the holes in it. But if you don't have that, that's fine. And you can check, I'll put a link in the description to show you what I'm talking about. I have um, a video doing brownies in my air fryer. I'll put the link to that in, this, in the description as well. And I had to do something like this. I had to make my own holes just by with a, with a toothpick. But they have, um, they have foil with already holes in them. I'll put the link to that in the description as well. I, I didn't get a chance to pick it up and I didn't see it in my local supermarket. But you're gonna need foil and you're going to have to have holes in them, whether you do it manually or you can buy them already done. It's totally up to you. Oh, and FYI, the reason why you need foil, like when you're doing cakes and brownies, is because the amount of time you have to air fry it and the temperature you'd have to use um, you would have to use foil halfway frying it, air frying it, because if not, you'll burn the top. Meanwhile, the middle won't be done. That's why you need foil. Next item on my list, a lot of people in my air fryer group on Facebook have it. I don't, but it's um, a trivet. You know, something to put like here and so you can rest your, your air fryer basket on. I just put it on my counter. It's never been a problem, but... To some of you, that might be a concern. I don't know what your surfaces are like, um, and you may just want to take precaution. I'll put a link in the description to uh, the trivet that we use, um, and, and that's also on Amazon as well. And before I go, this is what I just got the other day, and I'll give you a demo of it. This is called the Handy Caddy, and there's many var variations of this. But I got this on Amazon and my, once again, my air fryer group put me on to this and I just got it and I'm going to hook it up to my air fryer to show you how it works. But what it basically does is it, whatever's sitting on it, it lets it slide out. So I guess I would put my air fryer like this and then make it come out. And the reason why you would get that is because a lot of us have our air fryer against the wall. And as you know, your air fryer blows out hot air from the back. Now, I've had an air fryer for over a year and I don't see any wear and tear on my paint. But, hey, this item, you don't even have to worry about it. When you're using your air fryer, you can slide it out, use it. When you're done, slide it back to the wall. So let's check that out before we go. All right, you see it down here. I just put it, I just rested it on it. And when I'm ready to pull it out, I just pull it out. Put it back in, pull it out. I think that's pretty cool. And you know, you can buy this for other appliances. Maybe you have two air fryers, you can buy it for two, or you might use it for, I don't know, your coffee machine, or I don't know, whatever. I think that's awesome.
See? All right. Well, guys, I hope this helped you. Um, and um, stay tuned to other, uh, so this is my second video for newbies. I'm going to do a third one probably in a week or so um, going over something else. Um, one thing I do want to let you know is definitely subscribe to my channel. I have over 90 air fryer videos and I'll put my playlist in the description as well. So you have 90 videos to choose from to get your feet wet on. So, and then second, you definitely, definitely need to join my air fryer group on Facebook. We have over 24,000 members. And if you think I could cook, man, there's some people in there that put me in the shame, but um, I love my group and um, they support me and I support them. And we, 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 do, we do a lot of big things in there. We, we post pictures, we post our re uh, recipes, and we just have fun in there and just teach each other. So definitely, if anything, join that group for sure. But that's all I got, guys. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. This is Cooking with Doug, and we out.